In this tutorial, we're going to be making some modifications to the default Ada character that comes with MetaHuman Creator. And this is to make it as easy as possible for people to follow along. But some of the modifications are going to look kind of silly. It may not be exactly what you would do on your own character, but I think it does demonstrate the power of the MetaHuman DNA add-on and the power of the DNA format and the technology that Epic has developed around MetaHumans. Using just a few of these basic concepts, you can make very powerful custom characters. If you do make anything cool with our tools, we would love if you would share them with us on social media. All right, this video is going to go over how to use MetaHuman Creator in Unreal 5.6. If we fire up the Epic Games Launcher and we look at the Library tab and check our installed engine version, if we click on this and we go to Options, when we install this, we need to make sure that the MetaHuman Creator Core data is installed. So make sure that is checked and then hit Apply. With that done, let's go ahead and launch Unreal Engine. Let's go ahead and go to the Games tab. We'll create a new project. All right, great. I'm going to go to Manage Plugins. I'm going to search for MetaHuman, and I'm going to enable everything with the MetaHuman logo. And I'm going to do Restart Now. All right, and I'm going to go to the Content folder. So I'm just going to create a new folder called MetaHuman Creator. I'm going to go to this folder, and then I'm going to go to MetaHuman and MetaHuman Character. Let's just say Ada. I'm going to go ahead and do enable missing, and then I'm going to have to actually restart. All right, so here we are back with our character. I'm going to go to the presets tab. I'm going to choose Ada. Then I'm going to go over to the assembly tab. I'm going to change this to DCC export. I'm going to uncheck making the makeup, and then I'm just going to go here and choose the folder where I want uh, her to be exported. Now, an important thing to note is First, you always have to rig a character. So I'm going to create a full rig. And for the face animation, I'm going to actually going to go to the tangle animation and I'm going to do the face ROM. And I'm just going to go ahead and go through this face ROM. You can see these different tests. Now, a very important thing to remember is you have to download the texture resolution that you want if you want to have all of our texture maps. So I'm just going to download the 2K resolution textures. For the reason this tab seems to be locked up like this, so I'm just going to go to the like, body and I'm going to go back to the assembly tab and then you can see that these options came back and then I'm just going to output this now that we have the textures and we have um, her rigged. So assemble. All right, so now that um, she's exported, you we have this folder for Ada. There's a head DNA file and a body DNA file. And then also in this folder, you can see all the textures that were exported from this character. All right, so let's go ahead and fire up Blender. Now I'm going to go in here, delete this, the default cube. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this head DNA file, and I'm going to choose specifically the head. I'm going to drag and drop it into the Blender viewport, and I'm going to click the Include Body option. This will allow us to import both of those files and then link the head to the body. So I'm going to import the DNA. And straight away, we have our character in Blender with a working face rig. Now, if we hit N and the side panel, uh, we get our MetaHuman DNA add-on. For the output folder, I'm going to do this exact same folder right here because um, we're going to make some changes to the, this DNA and re-import it into Unreal. One thing I like to do is import the exact same face ROM that's in the MetaHuman creator. So I'm going to pull in this file, and I can make this available um, somewhere for people to test with. And if we go over here to the animation tab, we can see in the action editor that we have this uh, MetaHuman facial ROM and it was imported onto this uh, armature object. Um, so you can see her doing the exact same animations that we have in Unreal. All right, so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna actually import the blend shapes onto uh, this character. And if I go over here to shape keys, and I just say import shape keys, it'll import the shape keys from the DNA. So it's going to go ahead and run through and import all those. All right, now that we have those blend sh shapes imported over here in this panel, that as um, the face board runs, different values on the shape keys get activated. Um, and one way we can actually test how this is working is we can turn off three different outputs that uh, RigLogic evaluates. So I'm going to go ahead and turn off the bones. And uh, all we're having now is a shape keys in the mass. And if we scrub here, 
you can see in the face, you can see the subtle uh, uh, blend shapes that are activating uh, according to the expressions. So I'm going to go ahead and just turn the bones back on now, uh, but that is something I want to show. Um, and so what we're going to do actually is we're going to go for a specific pose. Um, I'm going to go in here and select everything, hit Alt G, and that'll clear out all the locations on these keys. And I'm just going to actually grab this and move it uh, uh, straight down. Uh, and this will put the jaw open at one. All right, so let's go ahead and start sculpting on this jaw open. So we're going to hit the sculpt button. I'm going to go in here and I'm going to hit the uh, I key and F to resize this. And then I'm going to do something very obvious and just make her chin a lot bigger. So I'm going to uh, do this to inflate. Something that we can really see um, embedded even greater. And I'm going to hit uh, S and then smooth this a little bit. And then there we go. There's the uh, shape key. And then now to test this out, I can just scrub through the animation and you can see when the mouth opens that chin is going to get really big so that's the first change we're going to make so we did it we did a shape key example now i want to do uh, an example of calibrating the bone now i'm actually going to the utilities and then for the armature i'm going to choose the nose bones so you can see here we have the nose bones here and actually if we look at this uh, facial c nose and we get around like frame 800 you can see that the uh the nose really uh, wiggles from side to side. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to pop into edit mode and this will adjust the actual rest pose of the skeleton. And I'm gonna move this nose like way back into her head here somewhere. And then let's just go back to uh, pose mode. And now if we scrub, we can see how much that nose is actually moving back and forth. All right, and so this character is actually ready to be exported. So he can go to the output tab. You'll see there's two components, head and body. Um, all we want to do is just export a single component, which is the head, which is only the DNA file instead of uh, everything related to this asset. So I'm going to go ahead and click this button, and it's going to calibrate our changes to the DNA. All right, and then one last time in Unreal, I'm going to go ahead and scrub through here so you can see the chin open. And then we're going to go to the part you can see where the nose is wiggling. Um, this is just the default ADA DNA, um, but now we're going to import ours, so we're just going to remove the rig. And then where it says conform, we're going to click conform. And we're going to have whole rig checked. The file we're importing is the head DNA file. You can see the import whole rig option imports neutral pose and all expressions from the metahuman DNA file and sets the asset into a rig state. So this bypasses the remote rigging service that generates your DNA and uh, allows you to have full control of how you generate your DNA. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to click import. All right, and now for the moment of truth, we're going to go to where the jaw opens. So you can see her chin. You can see that chin get big when her mouth opens. And just as a sanity check, let's go here into Blender. And we can see the same thing. And let's go around frame 800 and take a look at the nose. And it's really that simple. So the pipeline you want to use is you want to send the DNA through MetaHuman Creator. And then when you're ready to actually take it into your level, you can choose an assembly option. I'm just going to do UB Cinematic. And then I'm going to put this in my MetaHumans folder in my project and I'm going to assemble. Now that assembly is complete, we can go to the MetaHumans folder where we exported our character. And if we click on an ear, we can see our blueprint. We can drag and drop her into our level. I'm just going to reset location to zero. Now I'm just going to do is go to the top folder and go make a new level sequence. And we just call this test. Let's open this up and let's just add the actor. And in another oriented, we can just grab that mouth control. And you can see that we have that chin blend shape activating. And as I grab that, you can see that that nose bone has also been adjusted strictly by the DNA. Please follow us for more future tutorials. Thank you.